Funding for the following is provided by a grant from the Lincoln Financial Foundation. Hello, my name is Brian, and I'd like to demonstrate for you today how to weld a square groove weld with a 1 16th root opening in the overhead position to obtain complete joint penetration. You'll be using four different pieces of material. Two of the pieces will be three inches wide by five inches long. They'll be eighth inch thick and they'll be zinc plated. The other two pieces are going to be used for runoff tabs made out of mild steel, A36 grade. They'll be eighth inch thick as well and they'll be one and a half inches wide by one and a half inches. So we'll take these two pieces of galvanized steel and we'll separate them with the filler rod, which is the same diameter as the root opening, in this case 1 16th of an inch. We'll squeeze them together slightly and then we'll take our runoff tabs and place one at each end. We'll deposit four tack welds on each piece of the square groove. After tacking your pieces together, you'll want to remove the filler rod from the joint and position the plate in the overhead position. Now it's time to weld the square groove joint. We'll start by placing our wire on the runoff tab and we'll pull the trigger and continue down this joint keeping the wire and the root opening at all times. We'll maintain a half inch arc length, which is forehand method of about 10 degrees and an electrode angle of 90 degrees. And we'll terminate our weld at the very end of this runoff tab. You want to be sure to have a wire brush close by because in order to properly inspect this plate, you'll need to remove the dust from it. The dust will be on the back side too. After wire brushing the back side of the plate, you'll have to inspect it to be sure that it's got complete joint penetration throughout the whole length of the plate. 